Okay, so in this problem, they tell us that the volume, which means the area or, or space that fills up a shape of a box without a lid, is given by this formula. And, and all that means, of course, is that if you want to find the volume of this, of this container, use this formula. And they tell you here where x is a length in inches and v is the volume in cubic inches. Cubic inches, of course, just means, well, how many inches that look like cubes would fit inside the shape. And inches here, a measure of length is a two-dimensional measure. All of this is saying is that in this formula, x represents length and v represents volume. So now look, they give you, um, they give you the x's for these two different problems, and they want to know what is the volume. And we, we should know right before we start that the volume should be greater in the second problem than the first. Why? Well, because the, the length is greater. And as the length gets bigger, the shape gets bigger and can hold more stuff. So part A, x is 2. Let's plug it into the formula. v equals 4 times 2, which is 4x, times 10 minus 2 squared. So that means we have 4 times 2, which is 8. 10 minus 2, which is 8, or 8 squared. And that's 64, so now to do 8 times 64. And the way I'm going to do that is to multiply 8 by 60 and get 480. And then 8 times 4, which is 32. Add them together, and I get 512. Now in the next part, in part B, x is 3. So if I reevaluate this formula, now I get 4 times 3, and then 10 minus 3 squared. So now it's 12 times 49. Not very friendly, but we can handle it by breaking this apart. So what's 10 times 49? Well, that's 490. What's 2 times 49? Well, I think of 2 times 50, which is 100. But this is 49 is 1 less than 50, so it's going to be 98. And altogether, that's 588, I believe. All right.